We are ready to start our renovation, remodeling, makeover project, our laundry room slash storage room. Today I'm wearing my Liu hoodie. I'm feeling 100% live everything in wonder, so I have all the power and the strength to do this. Actually, we already started yesterday. Check the images. My goodness guys, this is a nightmare. Remember the feeling that we were mentioning in a few videos ago that you don't know where to start? Yeah, this is what I'm feeling right now. For Luca it's really difficult to get rid of things he said ah maybe I can use this one day or it could be useful in the next project so we are keeping he's keeping everything that could be a good thing if you have enough room to store everything <laughs> no comment wow guys a lot of dust a lot of dust a lot of everything now we need to move now that we are emptying this room we need to move that all the stuff that I will show you in one second there is a mess out there so this is the current situation we have mess here mess so it's a kind of a moving from moving from moving from moving and yes. but this is the way if we want to start it's pretty big this room I and never there is realized. a lot it's really big and there is a lot of stuff uh, a lot of the things that are in here yeah. are things that we should uh, throw away so yeah. we now have to decide what are the things that have a value that uh, we will be using uh, to keep it uh, and all the other stuff uh, we have to put it on the van uh, and bring it to the dump we need to go to the junkyard to ask uh, what we can throw away what you know in Italy they are pretty strict with all these laws uh, yeah the because laws like uh, wood, uh, you have to go and throw it in the wood, plastic in the plastic, uh, paper in the paper. So and they have different timing and different days where when you can bring the stuff to the junkyard. So we need to go there, see the calendar, then every day we need to, okay, today we are going to bring the, the wood, today we are going to bring this, uh, the aluminium. So this will be another, another day. <laughs> another project. Another project. The project in the project and all this stuff that you use this to renovate part of the house yes uh, some are all the parts uh, they, that I took off the house and I replaced it with new things uh, some uh, things I bought uh, planning to do projects and then uh, I end up uh, leaving and traveling with Sara so I I have a lot of things that I I didn't remember that I had so it's good uh, that we are doing this so as I said uh, in the previous video we know what we have to buy and what we already have uh, here yeah. but I think it's pretty still pretty long the process yes Look 
Luca, what are you doing now? It's time to destroy this cabinet. <laughs> When you are upside, it's perfect. Hmm? Yeah. It's better than a counseling session. Okay. Now it's light. It's easy to put it in the van. We are trying to keep everything and to reuse everything, but this was completely rotten. We have a humidity problem in this room coming from the ground and coming from the side because we have the mountain on this side so when it's raining when it's winter time here is snowing during the winter it's getting pretty cold so we have this moisture problem humidity problem and this room especially we have no insulation we have nothing so everything is rotten or you can smell here really the humidity Okay guys, I would like to show you our two water tanks. So, the story is like this. We have the spring that is 300 meters far from here. From the spring, the water is coming here. We have a water tank of 500 liters. And then from the first tank, the water goes down here. There is another tank. And this tank is 550 liters. From the second uh, water tank, uh, the water goes in here. This is a, um, a water pump that gives us the pressure of the water inside the house. And we have a filter here, so we can filter the water before sending it uh, inside the house. We would like to put this tank uh, inside that hole. We were getting some measurements and it should fit, uh, probably we'll have to break a little bit here on the sides because uh, these sides here they are a little bit bigger. It is empty inside there. It is empty okay. in there and uh, plus uh, this um, water pump uh, I would like to put it uh, somewhere higher so the humidity that is coming from the ground will not damage the the, the, the water pump. Talking about humidity, what we miss here is the crawl space. Sorry. Yes, we will have to build all, the, all of this floor a crawl space. And you build already a cavity in the wall. All the house on this side that we will show you right now. Sara, please help me. Yeah. Ah. Okay, so here we are at the end of the house, all the house goes that way. All the house uh, has uh, this cavity for the humidity because uh, over this wall there is uh, just uh, the mountain. So it's good to have uh, a, wow. a huge... Uh, <laughs> you dropped. <gasps> Wait, uh, what is this? This is the... This is a pipe that I, we will be putting in under, uh, underneath uh, the, the floor or in, inside the walls. Uh, we will put everything uh, good. I thought it's a pity not to use this, this space because it's big. I think it will be a nice area where we can put all our archive documents. You know, in Italy, when you have a company, a business, you need to keep all the documents for 10 years. All the receipts, uh, the invoices, everything that it's yes. that it's just about the company. You need to keep it because if they do a check, you know, a financial check, you need to be ready and to show them whatever they want. And so. uh, we have been keeping all the receipts uh, and the invoices uh, yeah. since uh, we started in 2017. So we have all all we we spend in each country. So also for the future, if we will be making a. Uh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, a video about all our expenses and how much did we pay for, you know, I don't know, the fuel or restaurants or grocery. We have más o menos an idea and we can share these, these numbers with you. Yeah, so we will know how much it cost uh, for yeah. us uh, from Alaska to uh, Ushuaia to Argentina because we have everything. Uh, yeah, but it will take a long time yes. to just check everything and then do an average but we have everything so we will be able to do this yeah in the future when we will not be working on projects yeah. uh, 
like this, uh, this is a big project, uh, I don't Every know. time that Luca and I, we start a project, it's okay, let's keep it simple this time, okay? Just don't, uh, otherwise we'll just work a lot, every time. Same with Lucky Liu, every, every time we just started this, but then, you know. It gets bigger and bigger. It gets bigger, complicated and dirty and yeah the, the kind of project that you don't even want to start because you know they are so difficult but i think this is what makes us us yes <laughs> but now stop talking we need to work I wanted to show you that we have water here. You see, this is all water. Yeah, it's super wet here. You can see all the water there. And this will become the cavity? Yes. Okay. We'll leave this much. You can see here from this wall. Yeah. I don't know if you can see the water coming yeah, yeah, out. Yeah. So it's really important to leave a big cavity where we will let some air ventilating and bringing out the, all the humidity. And we have also friends in the basement. We have scorpions. Can you see? Yeah. They're not so, so, so small, but not so big. Either. No. Oh. Oh, there's a yeah. You can tell that we have, or we add the rats. Oh, this is gross. something bigger it's just disgusting yeah it's disgusting and then the smell it's terrible yeah especially the pee yeah guys I'm just afraid that suddenly could, could arrive a mouse a giant mouse <laughs> leave me alone this is my house <laughs> a dinosaur if they pull like this Okay guys, we are in the process of taking measurements and making a plan. So first of all, we will draw all the room so we can uh, make a plan. We don't know exactly how we want, you know, the, the room to become, but as Luca said, with the measurement, you can have a better idea of what this will be. Yeah. And when you have all the measurements, you are able to know how much materials do you need? Here on our drawing we are calculating the area so that we can buy the right quantity of uh, modular plastic formworks for our underfloor ventilated cavity. As you can see here, we have 20 centimeters uh, between the floor of the basement and the floor of the regular house. And uh, this is the amount of space that our cavity will be, our ventilated cavity will be. Good morning. Good morning. It's cleaning time. Cleaning. Whoa. This clean. looks big. It is big. Beautiful. Trying to clean everything. Yeah. So we can uh, work better if it's clean. We would like to put the water tank in here, right? This water tank in there. Yeah. So I'm trying to clean it there as well. And uh, we will build. Uh, some kind of walls there. Yeah. This one will go there. We have to lift uh, the floor. Mm. 
we are doing the first estimate of what we need to buy today writing down and calculating everything we will buy things by steps uh, because um, the weight uh, of the things uh, can go over the, the limits of uh, uh, our van uh, can bring uh, we will be buying uh, uh, things that we need uh, to do the projects that we have today and do we, day we, by day. we know that we are using otherwise we're just accumulating materials we don't know where because everything is already stuck <laughs> so we outside. Will, we will try not to buy too no. too much. Uh, so we will try to use uh, whatever we need. And if we need more, then we go and we buy more. This room is not perfectly square. So that's why we are taking all the measurements, but then something could be wrong. We will go step by step. And now we are using our new van, old new van, our Luigi, our Van Antonio, our little you, we loved all the names that Van you Gogh. suggested. <laughs> Van Gogh. We are still choosing the right one, but thank you so much for all the suggestions. Some were like Fantastic. genius, genius, you are you genius. Easy. We will be using this, this van today because we will go and buy material to start this, this project, to go ahead with the project. Okay, super ready. It has been great to see my mom and to hug her. I think that her hug has recharged me in a positive way. And something that I didn't mention about my mom, uh, I think that it's very inspiring. My mom doesn't speak and doesn't understand English, but she has been watching all our videos regardless, every single video. She's 68, so even without understanding a language, she said, okay, I want to see all your videos and I think this shows the respect and the love for our project and for our job and I really appreciate it. Nowadays, sometimes she calls me and says, ah, you know, I, I'm starting to understand something like beautiful people or some words that you said. And so I think it's so sweet. I know there is the love and the affective and the family factor, but at the same time, I think it's so, so, so inspiring. So thank you, mom. I know that you will not understand what I'm saying, but I will translate this for you. How do you feel to be on the road every time? I love it. Yeah. It's so nice to be able to drive uh, and uh, move. Uh. We are still in phase two of our lockdown here in Italy. And we will see if this week they will open up the regions a little bit more so that we can... Now we are really focused. We want to finish the laundry room project in 10 days, two weeks. We hope to be able to do it in two weeks. So we will see. Yeah. So we will be really focused on that, really focused on the garden, the vegetable garden, the orto. And then we hope that we will be able to travel around a little bit more and show you guys all the beauties, the hidden gems that we have here. Are you hungry? Yes. We are going to try the impossible burger at Burger King. You know, here in Italy, fast food it's not so common like in the US or in Canada or in Mexico. It's like a treat for us, for the Italians. And we were so curious, I don't know if you remember when we were stuck in Argentina, we said we would like to try the Impossible Meat Burger. Here in Italy, the, the burger with the fake meat is called Rebel Whopper. They're letting only two people enter each time. And then they close the door. Okay guys, we wait 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and we pay 7 euro 50 each for the menu. Let's taste and try this uh, no meat burger. <laughs> Good. Tasty guys. Salad approved. So you're in a hurry. Well, you better calm down. We're all friends around you. Just join the fun. Cause if you're in a hurry, you're missing the point. Should enjoy the fruits of life instead of chasing coins.
Now it's time for the sand, the cement, everything we need. It's time to get dirty. I don't know why men, like they get so excited when you need to get dirty. And we are more, ha ha ha, okay, let's do this. Let's get dirty. Let's buy sand and cement and let's work hard for two weeks. Yeah, let's have some fun. three of them and then now they are coming with the sand that is a mixed sand that you, you need to add the cement and then it's ready to be used last one it's so great to have the van about uh, 1,500 kilos uh, so one one point five tons and I think that we are okay for now yeah you can see the van is quite low how many kilos can you load uh, about uh, that okay so we are fully yes fully loaded Securing all this? Yes. 36? Yes. Okay. These are the glues that we are using for our underfloor cavity. Okay. Okay, guys, it's super hot, it's super warm, so we have air conditioning it's super nice it's super good to have a van because you can buy and bring uh, to your house uh, so many heavy things uh, big things uh, so I can't wait to to be home and start uh, building and uh, doing all this project uh, whew, it's hot today we arrived safe with the van it was challenging because we are super heavy yeah and uh, the hill is super steep yeah now we will have to unload uh, all this stuff uh, we have uh, 1500 kilos of uh, sand uh, with uh, small rocks uh, that we have to bring down there with the wheelbarrow yes but uh, all of the process will be for another video yes <laughs> we will call it for today we love you guys we appreciate you thank you for coming along with us if you like the video please give us a thumbs up and please consider to subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't done already we are luca and sara you leave <laughs> you everything, leave everything. wonder if you want you can check out all our merchandising our hoodies our t-shirts <laughs> everything max on the website of teespring.com you can find the link in the description of the video yeah we love you guys uh, la vita è bella life is beautiful the italian word for today is uh, is i would like to teach you beautiful that means bello bella bello is for luca bella is for sara and it's even more is meraviglioso beautiful meraviglioso and uh, furgone furgone means van so in Italian, a van, you will call it furgone. And car, in Italian, you call it auto. Or macchina. Voi siete bellissimi. You are beautiful. See you in the next one. See you on Sunday. Ciao. Ciao. Wow. Look at these strawberries, guys. The sunset. It's just incredible here at Lucky Land. 
before letting you go, I just wanted to show you our beautiful strawberries. I will do a milkshake, almond milkshake right now with our strawberries. Look at the grape, how it's growing. Everything is growing really well. Salad as well. Beautiful. Luca is mounting the wheel barrel. We ordered on Amazon and they just sent it, it was almost destroyed. But they give us back the money and they say we can we can keep it. So are you happy? Yes. Yeah. This one. Ciao beautiful people. Here Sara is your job. You are the one who reads <laughs> all the, the things. You see? They are I'm super the excited. Yeah, I'm the one. <laughs> who reads and not only just this, but it's okay. What do you do once you want to do the instruction, Luca? I call Sara. Sara! <laughs> I will prepare the milkshake and then I will come reading the instruction for you. Love you guys. See you on Wednesday. <laughs>